Hey guys, um, sorry for the miss. I just wanted to make this quick little update. I have my first death in my collection. It's my scorpion. The species is a Sherryless species Java. And from what I could understand is that they need it very moist. I thought springtails would be enough for it to eat, um, considering it's so small. Um, I don't know, perhaps, if I watered the ground too close because the hide was on top. Usually that's never a problem. And I would water it right here. So I don't know if I accidentally drowned it. I don't like admitting it, but I don't want to lie to you guys either. I'm kind of bummed out because I feel like this... It's not just one of those, it just happens kind of. I feel like this is a noob mistake. You can't be an exotic keeper without having a few deaths here and there, but still. I was very excited to have a scorpion. I don't know if I want to preserve him or what I do, but I will actually, I would put him in the freezer and see what I'll do. Because it is my first scorpion, and keeping him could be kind of cool. Yeah. Alright guys, that's just my update. Um, also, um, now that you guys are here, the egg sac hatched with the babies in. Holy crap. Okay, I actually thought the babies were dead. But <laughs> I just found them. <laughs> um, as you can see, the mother's over there uh, with the hatched egg sac. I fed her not too long ago, so she won't eat her. I fed her not too long ago, so she won't eat her babies, but I can see they're there. I will put the species up on the screen because I can't remember it uh, right now. But yeah, it's right there. Hold on. Okay, so I took off the... Uh, light so maybe it can focus a little bit better on them you can see them right there they're huddled up together i did uh make a little small video on my instagram um where you can see them try to uh hunt and it's so adorable because they just don't know how to they try to eat the springtails i did try to put like a small super worm like a baby in there but the mother took it instead and i don't think they're ready to eat but oh my god they're so cute i actually thought they were dead like the mom had eaten them i was about to make this another sad point of the video but oh my god they're still alive now i don't know if i want to keep them as a colony because they do get quite big and i don't think they'll be able to stand each other so i might just let them go once they get you know, bigger. And also, update on the mite infestation. Um, so far, I haven't, I still see a few here and there, but it's not something to be too alarmed about. What I did is that I cleaned everything. Basically, I started over, I didn't really start over, I still have the cockroaches, just in a smaller container. I started over my mealworm collection because the spiders are getting so big that most of them are too big for mealworms anyway for it to actually be nutritious for them for a longer period of time so i don't need as much as i had i basically had like half of their old enclosure it's pretty big um and basically half of this half of this was full so a little under half of the container was full of mealworms. So I had plenty. Yeah, so I've started over. I basically took a few worms. Some were pupated. And I basically, as you saw in my video, I basically washed them thoroughly, like twice, I guess, under a medium heat, a medium warm water. And uh, quickly drained the water and stuff like that. And then I microwaved the, the whatchamacallit, oatmeal. And uh, put them in there with new uh, egg tray and a new cloth for them to lay their eggs on. And basically there are no way to making more mealworms. Honey. Hi. 
Mealworms got the frogs enclosures. The frogs were let out, as I mentioned in my last video. I was afraid that the frogs enclosure would basically be a new breeding platform, a breeding enclosure for the mites. So I decided to let them out, and I'm pretty sure it was a good call to let them out now because it's still warm, but it's starting to get a little bit colder, so they're gradually get back into their um, mating uh, cycle or whatever. I do miss them though, they were so cute, but if I were to have like a reptile kind of animal, I would go for a bearded dragon. That is my main goal. Once I get a bigger place, I will definitely look into getting one of those. But yeah, um, do let me know if I did anything wrong with the scorpion. I mean, obviously I did, but if there's something I should have done differently and could have caused the death, um, basically all he got was springtails because he was quite small and he seemed to actually feed on the springtails, but he never molted. I've had him since, I've had him for maybe a few months. They don't really get that big, that's why I chose it, because it's not a big scorpion. It's a very good starter from what I ever heard. But apparently I f***ed it up, so yeah. Do let me know if there's something I could have done better. This was a mixed feeling update, I know. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys some other times. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!